Welcome everyone! I want to the hero and whether I'm still sick or caught the flu again is a good question. What matters is that I'll still more than likely sound odd, so sorry for that. The start of this mini series thing that is retooled, reworked, remade, I thought we'd start with the roguelike, like. Like, like, like. You get like, the idea. Like. Action platformer, dungeon crawler, bloody space marine FPS, real time strategy, MOBA, open world online shooter. Okay, I might have got a bit overboard with the shadows, but really, the topic of discussion is none other than Spelunky. Spelunky is an open source indie platformer, and co, which was made and published by Mossmouth as a freeware game for Windows. The game was later remade for Xbox 360, PS3, PS Vita, PS4, and Windows. The first public version was released in December of 2008. The source code was made public a year later, in 2009. And this aforementioned updated version came to Xbox 360 in July 2012, PC, PS3, and PS Vita in August 2013, and to PS4 in October 2014. There's also a Chrome OS version titled Spelunky HTML5. You play as one of four Spelunkers, who are moving through a mind system picking up whatever is valuable, and saving themselves in distress, dogs, and... Fabio? The hell? And they do so while fighting monsters and dodging traps. More or less. The mice are procedurally generated, which means you won't go through the same mind twice. Spelunky is one of the first games to be a roguelike like, meaning it borrows concepts from roguelikes. Difficulties are changeable, not that this game really needs it. On your person, you can have ropes, which aid you in reaching higher areas, killing spiders and airborne enemies. You can also possess bombs that help you blow gold out of the ground as well as blowing up a good amount of scenery, and more than likely, you. Once out of these, you can buy more at the shops, randomly put through the mines for whatever reason. What the shops have in stock varies, so for example, let us take a look at what a shop I saw had. Rope? Bombs? You want it? It's yours, my friend, as long as you wrong have shop, enough Wrong shop! Wrong shop! Okay, so... <laughs> This is the right shop, I hope. So as you can see, this shop had bombs. But you might run across a rope shop or a shop that specializes in upgrades. Oh right, there's upgrades. Things like spiked shoes that help you climb at basically any vertical surface. The game has stylized cartoony graphics. And that's a good thing in this case. The animations are good looking and fluid. I don't have much to say about the sound effects. For the music, the music builds the atmosphere alright. So, let us round things up, shall we? Considering everything I've said, I believe it is fair that I give this game 6 out of 10. While I wouldn't call the game mediocre, unless you spend some time with it, you might not have a lot that would make you think otherwise. And that can turn off a lot of people in our age where everything needs to happen this instant. I hope you enjoyed this video, and with that, goodbye!